That's our first page. And our last part. And hello guys. Sorry, I'm chewing on it. Today we have for our geometry set, which I have not done in a while, is a lesson five trapezoids. And then it's chapter seven quadrilateral set one. Okay, trapezoids. Right when you think about that, I'm gonna give you the trapezoid that I first thought of. It's the trapezoid that looks like this. This one. But there's so many types of trapezoids. Not that there are, but like it's a straight line. Then we, we got the same shape. But we have a crazy ton of definitions and theorems. So let me read on to that. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral that has exactly one pair of parallel sides. Another definition, an isosceles trapezoid is a trapezoid who, whose legs are equal, which is the one that I just showed you from my drawing. Yes, it doesn't look that good, but tough luck. Let's flip the page. Theorem 35. The base of an isosceles trapezoid are equal. Yes, it is equal because the legs would be like this. That's why it's in the isosceles triangle. That means two sides are equal. Theorem 36, the diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid are equal. Also, it's the base, like is down here, which is equal. Set one, okay? Quadrilateral in perspective. How we identify a quadrilateral depends on what we assume about it. Consider these figures from a book on architecture. I'm going to show you these because they both appear to be, it's right here. But that one appears to be a trapezoid because there's nothing on top. Since there's something on top here, it looks like a picnic blanket. And a picnic blanket is, has, well, is, yeah, is, has, rec and yes, picnic blankets are usually rectangles, right guys? Cause it's like a triangle, no, rectangle I mean. That is actually the answer to question three. Kind of solved a problem there. But it's a picnic blanket because of the food on top and it makes you think it's a picnic blanket because a picnic blanket is a rectangle and a rectangle is not a trapezoid. The trapezoid is the first one because of what we think it is and what it looks like. That was number one, too. Number five. Does it seem reasonable to say that EFGH is probably a parallelogram? Explain. <clears throat> My answer to number five is yes. All rectangles are parallelograms. And guys, when we are paying close attention to shapes, it's because it's kind of what the that little set is built off of. So always remember to study and look at the shape okay for the geomet for our next little set we have the geom geometric trademark and the reason why is because the trademark of the chase manhattan bank which is this i'm going to show you the these two shapes in this set it's right here on this side is because of that it's the chase logo and chase is like a trademark bank <clears throat> um eight what kind of symmetry guys i gotta say that does the figure have 
My answer to number eight is point, point symmetry, guys. We had our less, uh, we had our last set, or no, I think it was set, yeah, this is lesson two, and that was the way about point symmetry. That is lesson two, like set one to three, chapter seven, quadrilaterals. The number, the, the one below is the chase one, but it's the labeled one. I just showed you it. So I'm going to read this little statement, and then we're going to get to a few questions. Its right angle and sum of its equal length have been marked on the figure below. The figure below is the chase shape with all of it having constructions and letters labeling each point. Number nine, what kind of quadrilateral is IJKL? Explain. My answer to number nine is it is a square because all of its sides and angles are equal. I must say, the first thing I, I because we go to Chase Banks a lot of them, have you ever just looked at something now once you start geometry and say, wow, that has a right angle. That's a cute. That is obtuse. That is uneven. That is not 180 degrees. That circle is not symmetric. It's not a 360. Now, I'd be like that. I'd be like that, guys. I look at a table like, I don't see no rectangle. I don't see no rhombus. When I used to look at this thing, I'm just like, that is a cool logo. How did they think of it? Now, after this lesson, because I've seen this lesson before, I'm going to start to think I can see it even clearer now because it's the actual logo inside. Just never let your brain be fooled, okay? Now you're going to get even smarter by thinking of your own questions of looking at something and seeing if you can create your own geom geom ge yeah, geometry set in your own head. Just doing those things can make you even smarter, guys. For number 15 is what kind of polygon is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H? My answer to that is an octagon because and it has, let's count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. An eight side shape is an octagon. For theorem 35, it's actually said, is the base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are equal. Let me show you the all the figures before we start. All these three. You can see all the constructions, what it looks like rhombus. Okay, the base of the isosceles trapezoid are equal. Given, this is like for the first one, ABCD is an isosceles trapezoid with bases a b and d c proof angle a equals angle b and angle d equals angle c for number 16 my answer to that which is because a b and d c are the bases of a trapezoid a b c d a b parallel d c y my answer to number 16 is the bases of a trapezoid are parallel now we're going to skip down to number 19. So DA and CE, why? My answer to that, to number 19, guys, is the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. It was back, I think, the last set or lesson, but it's definitely in chapter 7 where they, it's not, it's called, it could be called an isosceles, but it's, it also comes to the theorem of the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. We're going to go down to 28 now. Angle D equals angle C. My answer to number 28 is subtraction, guys. Because, so, <clears throat> sorry guys. But also there's a lot of 
of these types of answers and questions to help understand it more you guys should go back to chapter three or the beginning of chapter six because they have explanations to that if you guys have questions we're gonna go to theorem 36 which is our another and last set so theorem 36 the diagonals of an isosceles trapezoid are equal I'm going to read the given and proof, and then we. I'm going to show you the trapezoids, too. And then we're going to read. A, B, C, D is an isosceles trapezoid with bases A, B, C, and D. C. And then proof is D, B, and E, B. These are our two triangles. I mean, trapezoids. Okay. Twenty-nine. Because A B C D is an isosceles trapezoid, D A equals C B Y. For twenty-nine, my answer is the legs of an isosceles trapezoid are equal because the legs is the part where it's like a, when you look at a table, it's the wide part and the part that makes the top part or the top line stand up those are the legs just so in case you guys didn't know and they're equal because they're the same length because the top is an uneven or crooked same thing with all the other isosceles triangles and trapezoids for 33 the question is therefore d b and c a y my answer to 33 is and was sorry guys page got stuck i want to read you exact one corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal i should have known that because i wrote it down a few minutes ago but just got walking in my brain but remember guys that is one of the more important answers slash theorems slash definitions because it is so important to each one because this is geometry and they care about they care about how you answer it to not just all the grammar being wonky so make sure you also get your answers right in definitions and grammar thank you guys so much for watching this video um please be sure to watch my new biology video that should be out soon Bye bye that's our first page And our last part. Okay. Sorry.